Hey everyone, we're at the MSI booth now at Computex 2018 looking at a new X399 motherboard, which is interesting because Threadripper 2 is just around the corner looking at August for that release. So this is more relevant than you might think if you were thinking in terms of Threadripper 1. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermaltake's View 37 case. The View 37 focuses on highlighting custom PC builds with its full panoramic window and tinted front acrylic. In our thermal testing, the View 37 performed reasonably well when considering its looks-focused build, which is partly thanks to the airflow design and the removal of a bottom power supply shroud. For a balance of looks and performance, check the link in the description below for the View 37. This is the Meg X399 Creation motherboard. It's pretty beefy in terms of the VRM. There's a good reason for it. So we talked about the Gigabyte board previously, the new X399 board from them, and more or less it boils down to the vendors have to prepare for something like 250 watts stock potentially up to 300 depending on core count and final voltages, all that stuff. So it's a lot of heat to deal with through vCore VRM especially. So for this one, they have set up a 19 phase sort of. It's a 16 plus three, but it's really ultimately a doubled eight phase. So a doubled eight phase vCore using IR3555 MOSFETs. That's international rectifier MOSFETs. They are uh, 60 amp power stages. So pretty serious vCore VRM. We'll talk about it more with Buildzoid at a later date. but. Doubled up eight phases for that, and then a plus three for the VSOC, which I think is also 3555, not 100% positive, but if it is, super overkill on the VSOC. Next up is the voltage controller. So 35201 for that, for the V-Core voltage controller, and then for VSOC voltage controller, it's the 35204, which we also just saw on the Gigabyte motherboard. So kind of new on that one, haven't seen a whole lot of it, but that's what they have for the, the VRM components. For the VRM heatsink, it's got a heat pipe running through it. So this whole thing is the primary, it's the V-Core VRM. It's 16 power stages, basically, with the chokes, or the inductors all on it. I don't know what the rating is on the caps, unfortunately, but uh, they should get plenty of airflow, so it should be fine, not a big deal. So that's the V-Core VRM. This is VSOC. The heat pipe runs through it. The kind of the VRM heat sink is not 100% final, might be some changes before finalization. We're hoping to see some more fins dice through the top. We've provided feedback for that because if they're dealing with that much heat, 250, 300 watts, every little bit's gonna count for V-Core VRM cooling. So uh, beyond that though, just having a massive VRM does mean it'll spread the thermal load over a wider surface area. So it'll help deal with the amount of heat load coming off of Threadripper through V-Core VRM. Other components, so for PCIe slots, one, two, three, four of those for X16 length, and they are wired for by 16 by eight, by 16 by eight, if you're curious about the electrical wiring on them. M.2 SSDs mount one here. There's another one that goes in here, another one here, and then it also is going to come with an add-in card for M.2 SSDs, which we showed last year from MSI, and it's basically just a PCIe card that sockets more M.2 SSDs on it. We showed it previously. If you want to see it, go check out that old video. And I think that covers most of this stuff. The only other kind of ancillary thing to talk about is the absurd amount of fan connectors on it. In a good way, it's got a ton of fan connectors. I haven't counted actually, but plenty of them on the bottom, plenty on the side, plenty on the top. So the only thing really to be concerned about with the X399 from the vendor's perspectives is TDP. We know for sure 24 cores coming out and those will impact ultimately what kind of power draw is expected to go through here. 24 cores probably gonna remain the two die active configuration uh, with the other two being spacers. Basically 32 core probably going for full four dies for active uh, dies on Threadover 2. So that's all we know about it right now. But as always, check the links in the description below for more information. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus. It helps out directly. It's tour.gamersnexus.net for a mod mat. I'll see you all next time.